Today's video is another what are we eating video and today's featured food is hunger breaks all day breakfast in a can. It actually sounds like a good concept, but is it good for us? Does it taste good? I don't know, but we're going to find out. So let's get started. Before we open the can, let's read the label. It says for an all day tasty filler with baked beans, sausages, mushrooms. That doesn't sound too bad yet, but then you get to pork and egg nuggets. What is a pork and egg nugget? And then of course you have bacon. Everyone loves bacon and bacon makes everything better. But in this case, I'm a little skeptical. I'm not sure when this can was packed, but it looks like it has a long shelf life as it's good until September 2017. The whole can has 418 calories, which is not bad for a full breakfast meal as that's what the can is advertised as. The total fat is 14.2 grams, with 4.8 being saturated, which isn't off the charts horrible, but then again it's not great either. The protein is great at 23.9 grams, but then we get to the devil inside the can, the sodium, which is a whopping 3,790 milligrams, which is one and a half times more sodium than you're supposed to have in an entire day. And then you have the list of ingredients that goes on and on and on of words that most of us don't know what they mean, which is typical of most canned foods. And then you have the quality guarantee. After reading how much sodium is in this, there is no quality, so that guaranteed is void as far as I'm concerned. They have two sets of heating instructions, one for the hob, which will be a stove to us Americans, and then for the microwave. When I open the can, it smells and looks just like a typical can of pork and beans or beanie weenies. Now I'm going to pour the contents of the can into a medium skillet over medium heat on top of my stove. If you're in England, do it on top of your hob. I know that doesn't sound right, but that's what the can says to do. Now get your minds out of the gutter, people. Now let's go through the contents of the can. The two long white things are the sausages, which appear to be nothing more than Vienna sausages. The two meatball looking things are the pork and egg nuggets. I'm not sure why they just didn't call them pork and egg meatballs. The button mushrooms. And I'm going to have to assume this is the bacon. I know things are different region to region and country to country, but I've never seen bacon that looked like that. Here's our all day breakfast heated up. The direction said do not boil. I accidentally let it boil for about 30 seconds. It doesn't seem to have hurt a thing. I did a side by side comparison with the picture on the can and what came out of the can. And for once, what came out of the can looks exactly like the picture on the can. Unlike the chicken in the can, if you remember that one. Now the anticipation to try this is killing me. And if you believe that, I have some oceanfront property in Arizona for sale for a great price. I tried the beans first, and they're not bad, but they're just like typical pork and beans. Next I tried the sausage, and like I said, it looked like a Vienna sausage, but it tasted nothing like a Vienna sausage. The taste and texture was quite weird. It tasted more like moist cornbread after you dip it in chili or soup. But with that said, as much as I hate to admit it, I liked it. But if you're expecting sausage, you're going to be very disappointed. And then I tried a mushroom, and surprisingly, it tasted just like a mushroom. And then I moved on to the thing that intrigued me and scared me the most, the pork and egg nugget. So I cut it in half and see yellow in the middle. So I'm assuming that's where they got the term pork and egg nugget. At least I was hoping that the yellow part in the middle was the egg. I was trying to get the pork and egg nugget on the spoon so you could see exactly how it looked. But as you could tell, it did not want to cooperate. After I finally got it on the spoon and was able to taste it, it had the same spongy texture as the sausage. It does not taste like meat, it does not taste like egg. But again, as much as I hate to admit it, I liked it. Last but not least, I saved the best for last, the bacon. I know what each and every one of you are thinking, and I agree with you. This does not look like, 
and it is not bacon. But that's what the can says it is. So for the sake of the video and the taste test, that's what I'm going to call it. And it tasted just like all of us thought it would. Nothing like bacon. After tasting everything in the can that was supposed to be meat, the quote unquote bacon was the only thing that felt like meat in your mouth, but it didn't have any flavor. So after tasting this all day breakfast in a can, I've got to say, if I had to eat it, I would in a heartbeat and it would be a very unhealthy yet fulfilling meal. Even though the texture was very funky for the so-called meat, I thought the overall taste was okay and edible. It would be a decent can of food to have around for an end of the world situation, but not something you want to eat just to eat when there are a lot more healthier alternatives available. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you do not give this a try. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe and come back every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday for new recipes and cooking videos.